Gone gods. Watching you consume that tadpole was more disgusting than the tadpole itself. Though, I suppose that's not what you wanted to talk about. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you take an elithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. I appreciate where you're coming from. Truly, I do. But these parasites are quite literally elithid weapons of war. And I'm not so certain they won't be turned against us upon consuming them. Let's have a look. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Cut it out. It's worse than yours. Nothing we need to worry about. You're welcome to rest here. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being. Straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have. But it's yours, if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. Two. Both stalwarts of Tyr. Sworn to uphold justice. 
The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. In Tia's name. regards you lifelessly. Infernal servant. So long I've forgotten why. Zarius brute destroyed me. I'm still looking to shift some supplies. Don't have much to spare, but it's more than we can carry. In Tia's name. Hell's minions. I'll find the time. The truth is, if there is a devil running wild, we might have to deal with it one way or another. Sign of the tiefling fiend. Block the doors. First, I was burned within an inch of my life, and now I'm stuck playing pantomime. I can't take it anymore. Karlak is going back to Avernus, and if she won't go quietly, she dies. It looks like I'll have to kill you first, which I quite look forward to. Bye bye.
Before me, on my feet.
These boots have seen everything. Spill some blood. Looking ahead. On my way. Anything of use? To rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. What's hiding here? Seems like a good moment to talk. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Thou mayest. As thou wishest. Dost thou require anything else? Thou mayest. As thou wishest. Dost thou require anything else? Which of them dost thou require? This is the price of balance. Thou wilt now find them as they were, exactly as thou last remembered them. Dost thou require anything else? Which of them dost thou require? This is the price of balance. Thou wilt now find them as they were, exactly as thou last remembered them. Dost thou require anything else? By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile.
Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I can kind of Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Hmm. You? Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Still. There'd be no harm in me taking a teensy look with that. I know all the signs. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Yankee relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. You have something precious to my kin. An heirloom. I will have it back. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win.
You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Surrender? A disgusting notion. You would better warm to that notion very rapidly, or your journey ends here. We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. holds a well-chewed ball in his mouth. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Hello. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. 
Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Are you certain? We're nearly there. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Are you sure? If I don't intervene, the parasite will continue to gestate inside you. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further! Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat! He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was... Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! Madness. Let's move. Can't slow down. Let's have a look. of death. Delightful. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Talk, Collector! Martin! Hiding. 
No, I didn't. Goblins. Laughing. Cutting. Gods abandoned me and fence. No traps, please. Have a lot on my mind and well in it. How much farther can I go? Give it a shot. regards you lifelessly. Vance. Toll collector. Gold basement. Locked. I fell, dropped key. Anywhere, away, safety. Jumped to escape. Broken. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions.
go. There's a trap. Keep your distance, darling. Traps. How considerate. All's well that ends no, not as bad as it could have. Just another crate. Simple enough. Watch how you go. There's a trap.
I should speak up. <laughs> One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil, a gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karnak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. You did! That's incredible! You ought to let me return the favor. We can team up, evict this parasite, and then take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? She's almost as scary as you, Lazel. So naturally, she gets my vote. <laughs> We're talking. Uh, hang on, though. 
Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. Chuk. What manner of hero is so shrouded in secrets? I have never called myself hero. But I am bound to an oath. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me.